Hey guys, uh, today we're working on a 2016 Zion and uh, it's an AI and the problem we're having here is uh, we got a code for a fuel pressure sensor, fuel rail pressure sensor. It's right here. Code is a 193 fuel rail pressure sensor A circuit high. So what's happening here is uh, they don't sell that fuel rail pressure sensor from the dealer. They want to sell you the whole rail with the sensor. It's about $700. Um, I managed to got, get one from uh, Amazon which is like 30 some bucks. Uh, so let's see where this pressure sensor is at. Let me get it up over here. Okay, this is the engine. Uh, it turns out it's a Mazda engine. Cause uh, the way I figure it out is I grab the numbers from the pressure sensor right here. And I punched them in on the computer and it turns out it's the same as a Mazda 2007 CX-7 with a 2.3 which is the same one so if you guys get a code of 193 uh, and want to save some money just look up that number and they'll give you a whole different options of where to get it from so uh, right now we're gonna replace that sensor and uh we'll install it i'll get back with you okay guys so um the issue we're having with this mazda is that um the fuel rail pressure sensor it's not reading right that's this one right here so um the way to troubleshoot this problem is first you check for your voltage your 5 volt reference from the computer because the code that is saying it is that uh, is high the circuit is high circuit A is high so it's a three wires so what you do here is you make sure you got your ground Let me disconnect this here. This is just to show you guys how I check this thing. Make sure your connector is good, nothing's broken. So we saw we have, now here's your five volt reference coming from your computer. You gotta check this with the ignition on. Because we have five volts on the green wire, ground on the blue wire, and this is your signal. Let me hook it up right now. This is your signal wire. 4.8, 4.9. Uh, so what happened here is um, I ordered one sensor from Amazon with the same numbers. But what happens after I put that one in, I got a different code. Turns out it was pulling it to ground. So I was getting a 192 code. I was no longer getting the 193 code, but it was a 192 code. Okay, so uh, the sensor that I got from Amazon, which was the same numbers as what I took out, the same numbers which is 0261545074 it didn't work they just pulled it to ground so either it was a defect part or something because uh i grabbed the same number and it had the same number and everything but it was pulling it to ground and i was giving it was giving me a different code now it was giving me a code for a like, low voltage i mean i already checked my wires and the wires are good we're getting ground we're getting the five volts so what I wind up doing is I 
order a Bosch sensor, which is this one. 0261545555, which I believe fits a uh, Buick 2011. Uh, and what happened is I put that on and the car started up right away it had power my fuel was reading good my high pressure pump started working so everything started working so uh, that's the fix okay so yeah this is the fix we put one of these pressure sensors is a GM car so if you have any issues with a Mazda engine 1.5 which comes in a Zion 2016 I believe they come in there 2017 and 2018 Toyota Yaris they also have the same engine 1.5 the dealer does not sell this pressure sensor by itself like I said so uh, if you buy one of these this will work this will definitely work I already put it on Turn on right away. It's got power. Took it for a spin. Everything's reading good. So, if you guys want to save some money, just uh, replace it with one of these sensors and you're good to go. Uh, thanks for watching The Art of Automotive. If you like this video, put thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time. Thanks.